Do you know when to change your coolant? Why it's important? How to do it? What to look for? My name is Dayan and I have the answers. Some coolants are classed as concentrate, so check the bottle to see whether you need to add water or just use it as is. Only in an emergency should you add only water to the cooling system. Most modern engines have aluminum cylinder heads which require the protective anti-corrosive properties of coolant. A 50-50 mix of liquid or coolant is usually sufficient. Some coolant recovery systems are pressurized and have a radiator pressure cap instead of a normal cap. Some older vehicles have no coolant reservoir, so to check and add coolant you have to open the cap on the radiator. Coolant is usually red, green, blue or yellow. If it looks colorless, looks rusty or has things floating around in it, arrange for your system to be flushed, cleaned and add new coolant. If the coolant has a sludgy, oily surface, immediately take the vehicle to your mechanic to check for internal head gasket leakage. The service facility has special equipment for performing this check. Heal the radiator hoses too. They're the big hoses that go into the top and come out of the bottom of the radiator. If they're leaking, cracked, bulgy or squishy, they should be replaced. 